Hello, and welcome to another episode of Keyboard Only Gaming. Today, we'll be looking at a 2D platformer called Spelunky. This game is pretty simple, and the object of it is to get through various randomly designed cave levels to get to the bottom, grab as much loot as you can, and get out. It's fairly difficult, and it has a lot in common with roguelikes, which is great if you want a game, you know, to play on your coffee break and you don't have too much time. A cool thing about the game that helps replay value is that all the levels, like in a roguelike, are uh, randomized. So you never quite know what you're going to find down here in the dungeons. You move around using the arrow keys. You jump with Z, and you can use your whip with X. Now up at the top you'll notice I have bombs and ropes. And to use those you hit uh, C to switch through your special items, and then X. Like if I wanted to throw a bomb. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not that great with bombs. <laughs> I oftentimes just blow myself up. Hmm, let's see. The farthest I've ever made it so far is about down to level 4, so I have no idea, you know, what lurks the lowest levels. Ooh, there's a woman. Now this is something kind of funny. It's actually, actually, well, it's not really funny, it's, it's actually really, really sexist. Um, all these treasures that you pick up, apparently these women count as loot. And that has pretty grim implications. You're thinking of women as loot. Yeah, you get a kiss and you say my hero, but look, look at the, look up at the top. It stacks up the gold and she's included. Ugh, that's so wrong. Whoa. I hate bats. Bats are the worst. I'm actually doing pretty good right now. But a lot of times, uh... The bats, they're ledge bats basically. If you go to, if you've ever been to TV Tropes and you look up ledge bats, that's what those guys are. They always hang around where, what the heck? Oh god, what is this thing? I've never even seen that before, a skeleton? Huh. I've only got one heart left. I've got to be very careful. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what's down there. You see that uh, in the background down there? I think that's a uh, yeah. bomb jump. I will have to say I, I really like the art style in the game as well as the, uh, the music. Uh, the art style is really cute and endearing and uh, the music is pretty cheerful which is nice when you're, you know, getting your butt handed to you. Okay, let's see if I can get down here without killing myself. Okay, now there's a gold idol, and I know, because I've seen these before, they're worth a lot of points, so I'm going to try and get this thing and get out of the dungeon. And I have no idea what that is over there. I think that might be a shop. Let's see if I can blow open the wall here. Oh, jeez! Is that a gun? Oh, I don't even want to go over there. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, I need to get out of here because uh, there's a giant stone about to come down from this thing. Actually, I'll wait here. Yep, there it is. Alright, now I gotta get out. <laughs> I got them killed! Oh, wow. Oh, I wonder if I could have taken his gun. Oh, well. Yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff in these dungeons. And, uh... Like, that guy, I assume that was a skeleton. I've never even seen that before. So, overall, I think... Hmm, 
I wouldn't say this is a great game, but it's definitely a good game, and if you're in the mood for a uh, 2D platformer that you can have fun with and play only using your keyboard, I'd say check it out. Uh, it is free, and I forgot to mention last episode, Doom the Roguelike is also free. Um, so I... Oh, that was a stupid mistake. Well, that's okay, because I didn't want this review to drag on for too long. Uh... Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, it has good music, it has an enjoyable art style, the controls are pretty solid, and it's free. So yeah, so check in the, I'll link to their website, it's a, a game by a guy named Derek Yu, and I'll put that in the video description. So yeah, you might want to check it out. Um, and it does keep track of your high scores. And then when you die, it has a lot in common with a roguelike, because when you die here, uh, you only get one life, and then you go back to the start. So I guess that's about it, and I'll, there was one last thing I want to show off. I thought it was just kind of cute. Um, let me get up here. The way you exit the game, you can just press Alt F4, but if you actually go up here and climb the rope back up at the, to the top, you uh, can quit the game like that. And it shows you uh, riding back out of the cave with some of your loot that you've got on a camel. So anyway, I'm going to ride, ride on my camel here out of the desert. And I will uh, see you guys next episode. Thanks a lot for watching.